I'll show you how to make games in Roblox for beginners. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and once you've done that then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go to the Roblox website. Then what you need to do is go and tap on create. Then you should be taken to the Roblox creator page and what you want to do is go over to the left hand side where it says resources and tap on download studio like this and the Roblox studio should download. If you aren't getting taken to this page here then don't worry, all you want to do is head back to the Roblox website like this, then come to the URL bar and remove home if it's there but just make sure it's roblox.com slash and then what you need to do is type in slash create just like so, just like that and hit enter and then you were taken to this page here. You can then press on start creating and Roblox Studio is going to go and open up or download if you don't have it. And if you just downloaded the launch, then go to your downloads folder and double tap on it like so. And then the same thing's gonna happen, it's going to go and open up. And once you're in the studio, the first thing you need to do is go over to the left hand side and go and tap on create just like so. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few templates to go and choose from. You've also got themes and gameplay you can go and choose from as well. However, in this, I'm gonna go and start with the classic base plate, um, but you can use any template you like. So go and tap on it like so. And then what's going to happen is it's gonna go and start this. And here we are, it's going to go and take a moment to go and load everything, but this is it. So firstly, just a few, a few controls to move around. You can go and you hold your right click like so. And as you can see, you can then move around and you can also go and use your mouse wheel as well to zoom in and out on certain things just like that. So let's go and get right into this. So the first thing we want to do is really go and place some blocks. So to do that, all you want to do is come up to the top and go and tap on part. And you can tap on this downwards arrow like so. And we can go and choose block, sphere, wedge, corner wedge, or a cylinder. So let's just go and place a block like so. And as you can see, here it is. Uh, down here. So in this guide, I'm going to go and create like a basic obby. I'm going to make it quite simple just uh, so you guys understand the basics and you can go and make it way more advanced. So as you can see, here is this block. Um, what I want to do is go make it slightly bigger. So here we go. I just went and changed my position. So to go and change the size of this, what you need to do is come up to the top left and you want to come to these options here. As you can see, we've got select, move, scale and rotate. And this is what our mouse is going to go and do. So in this case, I want to go and change the size of it. So tap on scale. And as you can see, we now get these different dots here and we can go and change the size of it. So all you need to do is go onto it and then hold your left click like so and drag it out. And as you can see, we're now changing the size. And if you want to go and keep it all in proportion, then you can go and hold control and it's gonna do both sides. Or if you hold shift, it's gonna make it all bigger like that. So once you're happy with it, with the size of it, then let's go and change the location of it. So come to the top left and tap on move. And then what we can do is go and make it higher, lower, change it, uh, put it to the side, we do, do whatever we want with it. So in this case, I wanna make it a little bit higher. Let me just change my position like so, and that's it. Now let's go and create another one. So let's go and tap on part again like so. And this time let's go and make a sphere just as a quick example. And then let's go and change the location of it like so. As I said, I'm sort of gonna make an obby. Uh, I'm just sort of showing you guys the basics of it. And in this case, I want it to be a little bit lower so it's sort of jumpable. And I also don't want it to be too far as well. So if I just whip bin right around, I want it to be relatively close. I'm just editing this quick clip in. What you need to do is make sure you go and tap on the object and then go and tap on anchor uh, in the top. I'll zoom in on it for you guys. Otherwise, the items are gonna fall under gravity. So make sure you anchor them both. Tap on each one and then anchor and do this for future um, objects and parts you add in as well. That is how you can go and add parts. Now we can go and change the color of these. They look pretty bland. To do that, literally just click on it like so. And then you can come to the bottom right and we're gonna have this property section. And as you can see, we can then go to appearance and we can go and view brick color. As you can see at the moment, we can see it's set to medium stone. Tap on that there and we can then go and change the color of it. Um, I'm gonna go and have like a blue, I think, like that. And that looks really cool. And then we can do the exact same thing for the sphere as well. So tap on that and then we can go and change the properties. So come to brick color again and tap on it. And then what we can do is go and change that to a red or something like that. As you can see, you can also go uh, and change the material and the reflection as well and the transparency. So we could go and make, make it a plastic to ice, for example, uh, or you could go and make it marble. You know, there's so many different options. And while you also can go and use parts, what you can also do is take advantage of the toolbox. So as you can see at the moment, uh, it's set to models or you can have plugins, but we want models for now. What you then want to do is scroll down and we can just go and add these whole things in. So we can add this in like so. So tap on it like so, and then it's literally just gonna add it in like so. And we're sort of shortcutting our obby. So I could then go and position it. I want to add, sort of make it into a bit of a row. So let me just spin around here like so. Uh, and what we want to do is go and make it so it sort of adds on, if you know what I mean. At the minute, it's sort of uh, horizontal to our main thing. So let's go and tap and rotate. And then what we can do is go and rotate it 90 degrees like so. And then we'll go and make it uh, a bit further away. So let's just go and drag this out. And there we go. 
that is how you can go and take advantage of it. And you can go and search for certain things. And there's so many different things to look at. There's cars, so many awesome things. And while you're building the game, you may want to go and test out, for example, distances. Like I want to check if it's actually possible to jump between this and that. I probably think it's a bit far actually, but to go and test it, all you need to do is go to the top and tap on test, like in this sort of um, row of options. And then you can go and tap on play like so. And then the game is going to go and load just temporarily um, in the Roblox Studio. And here we are. So it's going to take a moment to spawn us in. And then as, I, as we can see, here we are. And here is our stuff. So then we can go and test out if it's all sort of able to jump like so. And it's all fine, actually. We can then go and press stop in the top left like so. And then it's going to go and take us back to the creation mode. And I'm now happy with the game. You don't have to be completely finished because you can go and make further edits. But firstly, I recommend saving it and publishing it to Roblox. And to do that, all you need to do is tap in the top left on file like so. Tap on save to Roblox as like this. And then what you want to do is go to the bottom left and go and tap on create new game like so. And then we can go and title this game. So I'm just going to go and name this guide realm example or guide realm game maybe or something like that and then you can go and add a description as well if you'd like you can then go and choose the creator the genre the devices and if you want team create to be on that doesn't really matter and then go and tap save so now it's sort of saving it it's definitely worth doing this because it's going to be easier to make further edits in the future and it's going to go and reload it because we sort of saved it as a name and things like that so just wait and now it's pretty much done so once you've gone and saved it now what we need to do is go and publish it so to do that, go to the top left and tap on file once again. Then you can just go and tap on publish to Roblox like so because we've already saved it. And then it's actually going to go and publish it onto Roblox. However, there's some settings we need to go and change. So then what you need to do is go to the right hand side and go and tap on game settings like this. And here it is. So here you can go and make a game icon, change the name, but then go over to the left and go and tap on permissions. And let's go and make this public. So tap on public like so. Of course, you could go and make it private again in the future. And then just tap on save in the bottom right like so. And now the game is available to go and play on Roblox. So I'll show you how you can go and play it. So all you need to do is come back to the Roblox website and once again, go and tap on create just like so. And then you want to come to experiences and then you can go and find your game here. As you can see, here it is. You can go and tap on this um, pen tool to go and edit in studio, all these three dots and there's a few options here. But for now, just go and tap on it like this. And then to go and play it, what you want to do is tap on view on Roblox and it's going to go and take a moment to load. And then all you need to do is tap on this play button and Roblox is now going to be loading and it's going to go and start and I'll show you it once it loads. And now here we are in Roblox with the game I just created. And of course, there's so many things you can do with games as you probably experienced with other games. You know, there's some of them are fantastic like jailbreak and so much more. So there's so many features you can go and take advantage of. And I just want to make it really clear. This guide is literally just the basics of creating the game and publishing it onto Roblox. There is so many more things you can do with inside of the game because of course you could start selling things uh, you could, you know, just look at any game on Roblox and that is how big things can be. You've got all sorts of games from, you know, please donate to jailbreak, all these different types of games. Of course, you can go and literally create, guys. So, yeah, if you found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.